Hi, I am Dr. Julie Brown, your CARIC trained concussion doctor and board certified chiropractic neurologist. Today I'm going to finish talking about eye movements. I'll link below the other two that I have already done. Today's is going to include gaze fixation, vestibular ocular reflex, and nystagmus from optokinetic or movement of motion. So the first one is fixation. Can you fixate and stare at a target? Can you hold it here? Or does, you, does your eyes start to come off and have to come, you know, work to get back on the target? Is it, does it stay on the target longer here before it starts to slowly dissipate and go back on? Or in here, is it stronger? Up, down, we compare right, left, side to side, it depends on the person. Gaze fixation is also used in every other visual aspect. You have to see a target to make it work. So in regards to saccades, you are technically blind during the middle of it, but you have to be able to fixate here. And then once you hit the target, you need to be able to fixate on that target. Sometimes people are not good at doing that. So we want to find it and address it. The second type of eye movement is the vestibulo, vestibular, ocular reflex. So they're hard linked together. If you've ever held a baby and they're looking at you in the face and you're moving them around or somebody else is holding them bouncing, their eyes can stay on you because they're moving equal and opposite to the motion that is happening. So that is called the vestibular ocular reflex. It is probably one of the most common broken or dysfunctional after a concussion. So that may include rehab to the vestibular system, to the visual system, to both at the same time. You can get very specific with it. I like to think of it as seasoning and maybe adding a little salt and pepper to one person's liking and a different ratio to the other, and that just depends on how that brain is functioning. But it is a very common one. And if it's off, people complain about, you know, I just, I went to the side, you know, I'm walking, I feel like somebody pushes me, or I just get off balance. Very common with vestibular ocular reflex issues. The third one is optokinetic stimulation. So it is the stimulation of the motion around you. So many people have seen their friend, their kid, someone looking out the window, watching the cars go by and you see their eyes go, they do this rhythmic motion, slow phase, fast phase, slow phase, fast phase. That is called nystagmus due to a, an optokinetic stimulation. Now here's a strip that we can use. Should have warned you if you have issues with stripes or vision, but that is one of the aspects that we can use to test and or do therapy doing optokinetic stimulation in that direction in this field of gaze is going to have a different aspect of doing it in this field of gray gaze that direction we can go up and down we can go in a diagonal it just varies on the patient but gives us a great tool to work with and it is a little more complex it is a combination of a slow movement a pursuit and a fast movement which is a saccade so it's a great test some people actually don't have great saccades or pursuits but their optokinetics are fine you just need to know how to identify it and know what to do in regards to treating it. If you have any questions, you can ask them below. You can contact me through the, e the website via email, and I do offer free 20-minute consults. And that's it. We'll see you next time. Thanks.